I've shot like 150 videos in America. And I think in like a month span in LA, I did like 80. So wait a minute. Three That's to like five scenes in a, a day. year. That's yeah. insane. Three to five scenes in a day. So like, what are you scheduling yourself? Like, like you have a scene at 9 a.m. And then like yeah, your so final scene's at 9 p.m. So I will thing? only do three different um, collab people. So for example, I'll do like a boy girl in the morning or like a boy girl girl in the morning and then so like 9 or 10 1 p.m ish or 2 p.m i'll do the next one and then like 7 p.m or something so if i'm doing five a day it's because i'll do like a boy girl girl and then i'll do a girl girl with the same people and then i'll do like another different people and then maybe i'll do another boy girl girl and then a girl girl so that's where the five comes from but it would be like three people like every day three lot schedule like driving around wow Touching up, like getting the cum <laughs> facial and then just like touching up the bottom part of my makeup. Essential like, skill. Wait, so do you ever have any complications related to that? Like you ever have like your vagina hurting so bad partway through the day that you had to cancel I, the rest of the day? Um, I would just like, power you know, through. power on through. <laughs> but it was so bad that I would be taking like two Tylenol and two Advil before, like when I woke up and then another lot right before each shoot. Because it was like... Literally, you would like touch your dick in it, and I'd just be like, oh. Was like, it the I, giant dicks or was it the sheer pounding? I don't go, I don't do like hardcore, hardcore scenes, but it was definitely getting used to taking the dicks. Like when I, uh, on my first little LA trip, like from, because I was kind of based in Miami, um, I couldn't even fit like Manuel Ferrara. It took me like 30 minutes to even get his dick in. 30 minutes is a long now time. I'm what? now I can do like Anton Harden and like you know Chris Simon and stuff but, but so now I'm like <laughs> messaging Manuel and I'm like I think we can work together now so you're saying that you don't think that you could handle the dread <laughs> no she just blew a raspberry anybody else catch that that was a real hardcore no so th- so you, you're still building up to that but you're telling me that thing's that tight like now I'm a little intimidated well, I think it's still tight. Like, it's obviously not as tight as it was because I can now just, like, work with, like, even, like, Alex Jones. Like, I can go and work with him. But apparently people say it's still really tight. So, like, what has you so motivated to shoot that many scenes in a day when you, like, you just got here, you got you got plenty of time? Like, I think I, I just love working. I don't know what to do with myself if I'm not working. And... I just had, there was just so many people that I was just like, people, like I came to LA for for one week and I had maybe one or two booked a day. I posted like a tweet and I was just getting all these messages. So I was just like fitting them all. I mean, there's endless amounts of people you could have sex with. I was just like, like, (laughs) okay, uh, can you do nighttime? Like, is 8 8 p.m. okay? It's like, is is 9 p.m. too late? Like, like, I'm a workaholic, so I get it. Because if I was a girl, I feel like that's how I would be because that's how I am with everything else I do. Your vagina can only take so much. She was, was like, crying and taking Tylenol, I mean. so (laughs) bad. Like, yeah. Um, But I wouldn't think my brain could handle doing, like, 8 hours of podcasting in a day so if i'm a girl like i'm gonna be trying to figure out what i can handle you know yeah so now i've decided like i'll cap it to a day yeah yeah because as time goes by you need to like get into a routine that kind of makes sense long and, term. and i was like not looking after myself like i was yeah. not going to the gym i was just gonna say like when do you eat because i know most girls they try not to eat too much like mm. during b- before oh their collaborations because they like they don't want puke i would while eat like once a day yeah and then go to sleep at like 3 a.m and then wake up at like seven or eight the next day and do it all over again because once i got home i would have to like go through like all the documentation putting into Dropbox, oh, yeah. like the photos like i still it's the post so production because gets i don't lost. have an yeah. agency yeah, yet, you need so. an assistant or something yeah is that something you think about of being part of this lineage of, of busty uh australian women coming out of there yeah, I mean, it's good. like I've, I've worked with everyone was saying, like, you need to work with Savannah. I worked with Savannah and it was amazing. And then, like, yeah, she's awesome. now we're good friends. So that's, oh, cool. that's good. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I haven't worked with Angela yet, though. But you I guys want, need to I do a, to. an ASMR, J O I, because oh, I would man. love to hear you guys' accents. Angela's intimidating. She's like the Michael Jordan of this shit. She's you know? the OG. Yeah, you probably don't want to do it super early in your career. You want to make sure you're ready. True, yeah. 
Yeah. The way she touches your body uh, without even fucking you is just really wow. incredible. She fucks yeah. you with her eyes to get you going. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. Too. Mm. Yeah, I would, be, I would be nervous because I'd be like, you would have to perform so good with Angela because she's like, right. Top tier.